Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, we are going to discuss so one interview question. So, that is what is deserialization? Right? Question so, What is deserialization? So, first of all, we know so what is the serialization? Right, serialization is the concept of converting object state into persistent state, nothing but into permanent state. Right, so here it is. So, this is object, so any object you can take, any object, suppose employee object, that object we are converting into the persistent state, nothing but we are storing permanently, physically we are storing into a file. So, any file you can take, suppose emp.ser, employee.ser, serializable file. So, this is so what we call a serialization, serialization and how it will store the information means what? It will store the information in a binary format that we cannot see directly. We cannot see directly if you open the file directly. So, the here it is. So, how to perform a serialization? So, using object object output stream class. So, because we are writing the information, so output object output stream class. Here in this class write object 1 method is there using write object method you can convert. Suppose, object is a reference variable if you pass, so that will be converted. Now, the deserialization means what? Deserialization here, so whatever the information has written in a binary format that you can send in the network or you can pass it, you can share it to everyone. Means what? That serializable file, not object. We are not passing object, we are, we are passing that that file, serializable file we are passing. So, so once we pass the serializable file, again the file we are again converting into object is nothing but the concept of deserialization, the concept of deserialization into any variable. So, converting object to file is called a serialization, converting file to object is called a deserialization is called deserialization and here here the object output stream we are using to write the information object streams now we are reading the information object state we are reading so object input stream we are using object input stream and here it is read object method is there read object method so we'll store the value into e1 is a reference variable e1 okay the concept of deserialization is very simple just converting the serializable file into object means what reacquiring that object information from the serializable file is the concept of deserialization okay and what is the class we are using object input stream we are reading the information so read object method we are calling so hope you understood well for more videos, please subscribe to Narishati channel. Thank you all.